Karl Khan is literally the worst opening in chess. Let me elaborate. Just sit down, eat something and chill out watching this video. This game is from 1960s. It's older than your father. So listen to it, because you need to listen to older people, right? And older things too. E4, C6, D4, D5, E5. You are playing the most popular more popular line in Karakan. But now, white usually plays bishop d3. However, there is knight e2 played. Do you see the purpose? Yeah. Knight g3, attacking the bishop. We start, it's literally like like the main line with d4, c6, e4, d5, knight c3, d takes c. When the knight from e4 jumps onto g3 and attacks the bishop. h5, bishop h7, and then bishop d3. And what would you play? Because my instinct says queen d3. However, he plays c takes d. And this is because we want to play queen on g4 and not allow black to move the bishop because of because they need to de keep defending the g7 pawn, which is a very nice idea. a3, obviously blocking the knight. That's what you usually play in this variation with white. You just block the knight here. c5. He takes, and yeah, he, he's one pawn up, he's winning. Do you really think so? He's just going to play pawn to b4, and even bishop b2 or knight d2, he's just going to get the pawn back. He takes f, and as we can see, black is already making mistakes. Like they are opening their king, they are opening their own king, because they, non they don't know what to do. Knight b3 and rook g8. So they want some counterplay. However, can you can you show me a weakness of white? Because I can't. Like, there are no weak spots. This knight is stable, this knight is stable, those pawns are very strong. This pawn on h5 is nice. Queen can jump on f6, rook attacks on e6, bishop attacks h6, can go off on f4, e5, penetrate all the black squares. It's just beautiful. So yeah, king f7 blocks queen f6 bishop b2 rook g4 f3 and then he, black just needs to give away the exchange right because if he didn't if he played rook to g7 white would have taken this pawn on h6 and the game would be just lost so now after we have exchange up we just want to trade and open up the position. Play on open files. Rook c1. Now we control the open file. We can play knight c5. We can play queen c2. Whatever. Rook b1. This is a very interesting move. Can you see what it is? Tell me in the comments what would you play with white right now. And we will see if you are if you are right. If you are right, I'm going to give you a prize. But I'm not going to say what I'm going to give you just now. Bishop e7, knight c5, bc, queen c6, and queen b2. Obviously, we are attacking b7 pawn, and he probably needs to play rook to g7. Yes. So, queen b5. So, as I said, we are just trading the pieces right now. We are in advantage, so the game is very easy. Even a player with 1500 rated player should know what to do. Just trade. Trade, train, trade until you are left with rook against the knight. King f2, e4, rook b3, and I don't even understand this guy. What is he doing? He's sacrificing another exchange. <laughs> Just look at the game. Like literally four pawns in the center, four black pawns in the center, attacking one pawn, gang banging the pawn. This position is very, very weird. Black has four pawns more. However, we've got to, white has two exchanges. Probably rook h7, taking the pawn. And then, again, we should, we should, we should just make very simple plan. Rook h8, rook e8, pawn to h6. Or maybe rook c6 is also good. Yeah. And black surrendered, because what can they do? If they move the knight, we're just gonna play h6, h7, and the game is easy. 
so yeah that's what I can tell you guys if you want to get better at chess if you want a 50 rating a week you can just click the link below and book a lesson on Fiverr you can check the reviews before and see what results you can expect and after you have done it just see you on the lesson I hope you're gonna have a great day